My name is Carlos Morales. I'm 26 years old, and I decided to move to Manchester, New Hampshire in April 2014 in order to participate with the Free State Project. After speaking at the Liberty Forum regarding Child Protective Services and my work kind of against them, I saw a lot of like-minded individuals, libertarian-leaning individuals, that I wouldn't have to convince them of the position that I had because they already accepted the fact that it was a rational one. Since moving to the Free State Project, I've continued the work that I was already doing prior to, but thankfully with the help of many of the great individuals in this town, uh, I've been able to push it and propel it even more forward. I'm the author of a book called Legally Kidnapped, The Case Against Child Protective Services, and I ended up with a lot of great help writing that book. In fact, I had uh, an attorney who works with the Free State Project who actually helped me write the book itself. Uh, now, in that book, I kind of break down what Child Protective Services is and what it is not. Uh, it is, in many ways, a domestic terror cell that has hurt families throughout the country. Uh, what it isn't is an agency that supposedly is working in the best interests of children. So, I've continued doing my podcast. It's called Truth Over Comfort Podcast. A lot of it does deal with the Child Protective Services issue uh, because it's something even within libertarian circles that I find not enough individuals are discussing. But it's also about trying to kind of break down dogmas of all sorts. The political, the ethical, the religious, the fanaticism. Uh, and so I interview a lot of different individuals in regards to that, along with bringing on guests and going down statistics, analysis. There are 395,000 children out of home care and in the care of Child Protective Services, many of them in foster homes where they are seven to eight times more likely to be physically abused than if they stayed in an impoverished home, where they're three times more likely to be put on psychotropic drugs, where they are six times more likely to die than if they stayed in the abusive household. That is what the state considers care. And so what commonly brought up to me by people who are not in the Free State Project is, well, without Child Protective Services, who will protect us? My statement back to them, and I believe libertarians will acknowledge this, and they'll be able to empathize with this, is what we do about those damn Muslims without the military-industrial complex? What are we going to do about those drug dealers without the prison-industrial complex and the DEA? What are we going to do about these children who are acting or misbehaving without the American Psychiatric Association? The great thing about the Free State Project, the great thing about removing the gun from the room with, with thinking in an elevated way past government is that the options are multiplied. When it comes to talking to people about moving to the Free State Project, what I try to stress is that we only have one life. Do you want to spend your time with people who look down upon you for having rational thoughts and ideas? Or do you want to spend your time with individuals who actually are rational, who actually give a fuck about the things that you believe in? The important things, not just if the patriots are better than the giants, but is it better to live in a world where we are free from violence? I think that's, that matters. I think if you want to live a life of integrity, you're going to have a hell of a better shot moving up here and working with the Free State Project than not. So, get out of here. Get a job. Get some money together. Do something. Live a good life, and the Free State Project can help in all of those scenarios.